In today's video, I'm going to show you a little bit of a very easy, simple to learn play to beat man to man coverage in the far tight slot in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're brand new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, um, what I do is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day and it shows on my research that only 40% of you guys are subscribed and so if you're watching this video it's completely free to subscribe. I'd highly encourage you to subscribe because I upload videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We're going to jump right into the content. Now, I've been running West Coast for the last couple of days here, um, just relearning it. This is one of my favorite offenses year in and year out. And the reason why it's one of my favorite offenses year in and year out is because of the, the simplicity of it and the ability that it has, in my opinion, to be able to win big games because of some of the quick runs, the quick passes, um, those kind of things are always really really important um, throughout the course of a you know of a Madden matchup in my opinion so uh, we're going to jump right in here and we're going to talk about how to beat man-to-man -man coverage all kinds of different types of man-to-man -man coverage but specifically what we're going to focus in on today is a basic man uh, a basic man to man coverage that you're going to see you know all throughout and I'm going to show you this out of one of my favorite plays uh, x spot now, what you'll notice with this play, as we broke this down a little bit earlier, is there's several, the beauty of the West Coast is there's actually several ways to run this formation. I mean, several, several ways to run this formation. And so one of the things that I like to do is I like to do kind of a little stack, almost a little natural pick and rub. There's some things you can do with this that are going to create natural picks and rubs. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put the fullback on a little swing route. We're going to put the left side receiver on hitch, and we're going to put guy one on a slant. But instead of motioning him to the right, we're actually going to motion him to the left and snap as soon as he moves. And what you're going to see here is it's going to create a natural pick on his man guy. That little hitch route is going to create a natural rub, a natural pick on Chris Godwin's man. Now, you don't have to put him on. Let's say you're facing um, cover two man, right? You don't have to put him on a route. You don't have to put him on a hitch route. You could just leave him on his route right here. And what you'll notice is by leaving him on this route, again, they're just going to pick him off and it's going to be an easy wide open pass against the man-to-man -man coverage. Now you might say, well, they're going to use her the middle of the field. So how are you going to make this successful if they use her the middle of the field? Well, the answer is honestly fairly easy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of my running backs on swing routes and I know this sounds like a very basic route combination but what you'll find here is if they're in man-to-man -man coverage you can throw this little swing route to the outside and get very very easy yardage that's the running back going against a 90 speed safety um, that's very going to be very very effective another thing that they might do um, if, if they're running uh, if they're running this against a man-to-man -man coverage type of feel is they might go to something like this right here where they're basically going to use her the middle of the field, and then they have the purples on the outside for any deep crossing routes or any deep any deep routes like that. But this man up of the linebacker could be something, a tactic that they employ. And what you'll notice here is if they man the linebacker up, it's going to cause a man switch. So manning the linebacker up on the receiver is really not the solution, and it's not going to help them uh, long term. Now let me show you what would happen if they run some type of, of the same concept from a two-man under shell instead of a cover one. So this is two-man under, okay, and I'm running this same basic concept here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two flat routes out to the backs, motion this guy out, and you see here, again, there's the man switch. He kind of freezes for just a second. And I just want to show you what's happening in instant replay. And the beauty of this is this is what you're going to see against more formations. Nickel 335 wide actually aligns itself fairly nice against this. And I want to show you something really quickly. So you'll see right here. Again, watch the linebacker. You see how the linebacker's pointing? See him pointing right there? See that? He's pointing to the outside corner for the outside corner to take him. But because the outside corner doesn't take him until about a second in, it's going to leave a wide open passing lane for you to hit this quick. Again, the theme of the West Coast offense, the way that I run it, and I believe the way that anyone would want this offense ran, is you really want to use quick routes. One thing you'll notice here is I do have auto flip on. Okay, so that's something important. And I want to show you just a different formation, so, just so that you can see that this does work from multiple things um, within the game here. So if I were to come out and 
three three five right and run cover two man the same theory is going to apply here so x spot and again i'm going to man line and press and you're going to see right here that let me show you this real quick if i use if i use this middle linebacker right and that left outside linebacker is manned up on the running back we get our setup in motion him out and you'll see here he points and again you're able to hit that quick there's a natural man switch that is occurring which is going to keep what, what i like about that too is it's going to make it very difficult for your opponent to be able to press you out of this set it's actually very difficult for them to run a press man look because again this natural little play here it's going to beat man coverage both ways so what they're going to have to do the solution to this um is honestly not to man up the running back if them if the running back like one thing they might try to do honestly is they might try to do something like this maybe drop this guy here you know something like this right here i could totally see somebody trying this defense and what you'll notice this this might have a shot but again it might create a natural man switch you'll see right here see how quick see there it goes again there's another switch of there's another switching assignment so what's really nice about this is this does a good job I'm telling you, it's darn near impossible to use her this route when you put him on a swing route. If he's on a shoot route, like a shoot flat, it's not as good because look look how far back in the backfield he is. It's five yards behind the line of scrimmage. He's five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And you see the man switch again. And again, I know it's only four to five yards, but it's a quick four to five yards, and it's freaking hard to stop it, I'm telling you. Let me show you um, another defense, for example. Let me show you... Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I have two, four, five double A gap in this formation. I have it in my other side of the ball. But let me show you if they run big nickel over G because a lot of people will run a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of people will try to blitz the crap out of you out of this. So, like, let's say you face like a heavy man blitz from big nickel over G. Let's just say you face something like that. Now, to be quite honest with you, most of the time when people defend you, they're going to have to put their user right here almost guaranteed that they're going to have to put their user right there okay that's going to help them stop the run so now what that's going to create for you is their users all the way on the other side of the field and again you can hit them quick it's a quick 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 route um very very quick route i'm telling you right now i've played the top players in weekend league um in the game right now they're not able to get out and user this even if they have the best lurk in the community if you see man coverage, which all I'm reading, the only thing that I'm doing is I'm looking at the left side at the snap of the ball. If that cornerback is not in a hard flat, then I'm immediately throwing it. As you see right here, throw it, get it out there. And that time he played pretty good. But you also have to remember a lot of times these are going to be the people's user. They're not going to be like, you know, like right here, they might do something like this, right? Um, so that it's not their user that's manned up on the running back. But again, just the quick hitting nature of this if that's the case again get it out there quick and basically you're going to outrun him to the sideline so all in all i think this is a very very good uh little play the beauty of this too is you can run it on both sides so let's say you run um you know your your fullback is now on a swing um and and what that's going to do is, is allow you some a little bit more time to be able to hit that route as well but now let's get into some of the other things that this thing can do against man-to-man -man coverage. So first and foremost, uh, again, you're going to see a lot of this look right here. And, you know, pretty much guaranteeing you that you'll see something like this right at the snap of the ball. So as you start to see stuff like this, um, what you're going to do is this slant route is going to be wide open about 99% of the time. And typically what they'll do is they'll user it. Almost every time they're going to user the slant route from this formation. Pretty much guaranteed. Okay. So if they user the slant route from this formation, now what that's going to do is it's going to create openings for um, your tight end route. Right. Your tight end route coming over the middle of the field. So you've got your slant. You've got these little quick routes right here. Snap him right there, right? So, so he's stacked right behind him. Now you wait, 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 and you're able to hit that tight end coming across. Now, if that tight end doesn't have very good route running, at this point in Mutt, you guys should probably all have tight ends that have good route running. Let's say you don't have a tight end that has good route running. 
um, that's okay. What you're gonna, all you're gonna do in that perspective is if you have a tight end apprentice or a hot route master, um, then just put him on a hot routed post route. And what you'll see is he's gonna come open a lot better against man to man, get a little bit better inside position. Let's say you don't have a tight end apprentice and you don't have a post, um, like there, there's no way for you to put him on a post route. Uh, in that situation, what you're going to want to do is you you really have to read this carefully. But you know, as long as everything continues to stay consistent here, this tight end, right when he cuts inside, right there, he's going to get separation. Now, one of the things you'll notice about this little spot route to the left side of the field is it does a pretty decent job of actually climbing against man-to-man -man coverage. Um, it gets pretty good depth, um, in my opinion. So we'll show you that real quick. Let me see if I can. Um, let me go back to this coverage real quick for just a second um, because we got kind of a we'll have to do it like this there we go so hopefully we won't, hopefully we won't get screamed at here I'm just trying to show you like a max coverage um, style of, of play but if you get something like that you'll notice that this little spot route's going to climb 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 and you can hit that route uh, pretty consistently now if there's a if there's a spy on the field, it'll be a little bit more tricky. But if there's not a spy, you know, and you're facing something like this, um, let me get you the purples out there. And let me just show you X spot. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, the other thing is don't discount the alignment of the formation. The fact that you have so many good, like, quick throws too. Like, I just can't. I can't say enough how important it is with this offense to like learn how to throw quick. But what you'll notice here is again, motion him out. And if you watch, he's going to climb and he sits it even press man coverage. He gets in front of it. It's, it's like a, it's better than a, it's better than a curl route. In my opinion, it's better than a hitch route. In my opinion, because he truly climbs. It's kind of a, it's kind of a combination of a curl route and a, um, and a hitch route, to be honest, uh, with the way that it actually practically will play out. See, so get them stacked right behind each other. He climbs it. That's press man. That was press man. 100% press man coverage, and he's going to be an easy check down against man coverage. What if they, you might be asking, well, what if they shade inside and they shade underneath coverage? What's going to happen um, in a situation like that? Once again, he climbs at a pretty high level. He gets pretty good depth for a, for a spot route, in my opinion. But see here, he's going to climb, 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 and he just sits right in front of him. So that's a check down read that you have against man-to-man -man coverage. Everything breaks down, you can go to something like that because most of the time they're going to be too busy trying to use or everything that you're going to be doing with these slants, these posts, and these little underneath flats that you can take that little easy read to Mike Evans. So this is one of my favorite man beaters in the entire game. X spot is such a versatile play. There's so many ver different things that you can do. If you want to get the full uh, far tight slot mini scheme, I'm going to be releasing it in my text message membership this week. Um, we're going to re probably release it later today. My number is 812. 216-3644 so just shoot me a text message and let me know if you have Madden questions that's my personal line as well so you can always ask questions um, via that cell phone number as well but thank you guys so much for watching we will be live streaming later on this evening at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time um, and if you're interested in joining my PS4 or my Xbox One online CFM just shoot me a text let me know you're interested we're looking for um, a couple new players for both leagues um, but we're going to be kicking off our Xbox League um, here in a few days so thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you had a great time hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in our next video our next video is going to be going on YouTube at 6 o'clock PM Eastern Time will show you some more strategies from this far tight slot scheme. Thanks for watching.